this. X-ray vision. Oh, yeah, I know that's the stuff of sci-fi movies, but an MIT professor has made it real. Dina Katabi, whose team invented a way to see through walls. Now, look, Dina, well, Professor, welcome to the program. We're not technical people. None of us are scientists that I know of. Can you, in 30 seconds, tell me what your device can do and how it works? Go. Sure. So, uh, basically, the, the device is a wireless device. It uses wireless signal. Uh, so, wireless signals to reverse walls. So, it's transmitting very low power wireless signals, and the signal is going through a wall and then reflecting back on our bodies, on the body of the people behind the wall. And it just analyzes these reflections, these very minute reflections, and with smart algorithms, it can discover how people are moving behind the wall. Actually, what's even more interesting is that it can get their breathing and their heartbeat. Whoa! So, uh, I can think of all kinds of applications for that. Like in a hostage situation, I could use your device, look through a wall, and figure out who is where and who is who. I mean, that's one option for using this device, right? What are the others? Uh, so I'm particularly very excited about um, solutions for healthcare, particularly elderly care, and also baby, like the two extremes, I think. So if you think about babies, one of the major problems with babies is SIDS. Like all parents are always really worried about their baby not breathing. So with this device, you can put it in the baby room, or you can put it even outside the baby room, and it's always measuring the, the breathing and the heartbeat of the baby oh. so that you don't have to poke your okay. baby to check that he's sleeping <laughs> and breathing properly. Now, um, have you, how big is this device? I mean, have you got it to the point where it's handheld and you could use it very conveniently in lots of different places? Yeah, so again, uh, you have to take into account that we are still in early stages. So the device now is bigger than if you have it as a product. But the device now is this size. And um, it can be made smaller as uh, we, we move on to improve the size, improve the look of the device. So now we are focusing on the function. Are you going to patent this? In other words, this is a financial program. So I'm basically asking, are you going to make some money out of this? <laughs> Um, so we actually did patent already, so that, that's already done, and we hope we can make money out of it, but more importantly, actually, we hope that it helps people. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, congratulations, that's terrific. Forgive me for asking a quick question. Could you tell me your accent? It sounds slightly My, English. I see. No, actually, it's not English. It is? No, it's not. Well, it's where is it from? It's from surprisingly Syrian. Really? Were you born in yeah. America or born in Syria? No, I was born in Syria and I came to, to the U.S. To, to study. Actually, I studied at MIT, became professor there and stayed. Are you an American citizen? I'm an American citizen. So yeah. am I. Oh, welcome to the program. That's great. Uh, Dina <laughs> Katabi, you. thank you very much for appearing with us. Congratulations on a thank terrific invention. That's just great stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay.